In this tutorial I cover the stretch, taper, and skew modifiers. So let's go ahead and start with a plane. Go to our modifier stack and from the modifier list I'll type in stretch. We'll use the stretch modifier and this one's very simple. It just takes a geometry, it's changed the axis and it stretches it in that, ge in that axis. Um, we can also amplify the stretch so that it changes the kind of um, how intense the stretch is. You can also change the axis, so the X or the Y. And again, like all modifiers, you can change the limit and move, rotate, and scale the gizmos and centers. The next one we're going to use is a taper modifier. And the taper modifier, let's go ahead and change the axis here, just tapers it. So it tapers it in one direction. You can actually taper it um, symmetrically. So it tapers it uh, along the center line in two directions. And you can also add curvature to it. So if you want to add curvature to the edge condition, you can do that. Um, and again, move, rotate, and scale, work on the gizmo. And then the last one I want to show you is the skew modifier. The skew modifier, let's change the axis. Um, it just kind of skews the geometry. Um, this one might be a good one to show the this on a solid geometry. So let's go ahead and go to the create. I'll do a box here. And then we'll add the skew modifier and then change this amount. So you can see it just skews the geometry. It does exactly what it says. You can change the direction so it kind of goes at an angle like a 45 degree angle if you want. Again like all the other modifiers you can rotate um, and move that bounding box that affects the geometry.